Hello everyone, welcome to the world according to Jason. Because it is a rainy night in Tokyo, I figured, why not get some pizza? So we're gonna try out Domino's Pizza tonight. All right, so I have always been curious about Domino's Pizza in Japan because I've seen all the crazy toppings that they have. Um, and they I know they do like these pizzas where it's like four different sections and they have different toppings. So for tonight's pizza, I got the Quattro Meat Max. And it's, um, it comes in three sizes. They have a medium, regular, and large. And I got the regular size and it was 3,600 yen. <laughs> so that's super expensive for the size of the pizza. But it comes in four sections. The first one is charcoal grilled chiki teri. So I'm guessing that's like a teriyaki sauce, like a chicken teriyaki. And then we got number two is char grilled beef. Then number three is giga meat, which has loads of different meat like pepperoni, sausage, chorizo maybe. There's just a bunch of different. And then number four is the goryo kalbi, which is uh, like a Korean style kalbi. And I think it has onions on it. So that looks all right, that sounds amazing and it smells super good. I got the pan crust. They have a bunch of different crust types and I really just wanted to try, you know, the pan crust since I'm already going crazy with like the different toppings, but they did have like a, they had a stuffed crust. They had like a meal feel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's like layers of like a pastry crust, like a really thin, like flaky pastry crust. And then in between has like camembert cheese. And then they had like a, there was a, sesame garlic crust which sounded good but then i was like eh, they might go crazy on the garlic and then i won't like the whole pizza so i just went with pan all right so let's try i think we're gonna start grilled chicken tiki it looks like it has corn on it and green onion and chicken and i think mayo let's give this one a shot Hmm, it's actually really tasty. I like the corn, green onions, nice. Um, the mayo actually isn't half bad, and then the meat is is really flavorful. It's got a, it's definitely got a grilled taste to it. And then the teriyaki sauce is is not bad as well. So this is actually a pretty tasty slice. Hmm, wait, I got a huge glob of mayo there. Very moderate amounts. It's pretty tasty but not like a giant pool of it. That was um, a little strange. That was not bad. All right, next we're gonna try the Giga Meat. This looks like it's got bacon, pepperoni, sausage, and then, I don't know if it's hot dog or supposed to be chorizo or something, but, but yeah, let's give it a shot. That bite was delicious, it just had pepperoni on it. Let's get some bacon. The bacon was nice and smoky. It's more of a fatty piece, which is fine. So yeah, it wasn't, that wasn't bad. I do like the sausage. I think it's got a nice taste to it, nice spice. I love when the cheese like melts over the crust and like gets that burnt crispy end uh, on the crust. That is always a favorite of mine. So I love, love that about this pizza. This is definitely good. That last bite with the sausage was really, really good. All right, next up we have the char grilled beef. Big chunks of beef on it, and it smells divine, so let's go on in. Mmm. Mmm. I love that you can taste like the charcoal, like from the grill on the meat. Like it just, it's got that cookout taste to it, and oh man, it's so tasty. This is a tasty piece. All right, so last but not least, we have the Koryo Galbi, or Goryo Galbi, Goryo Galbi. I don't know how to say it, but <laughs> uh, it's a, it's the Korean-inspired one, and it's got onions on it, and I think Kalbi is um, short rib, if I'm not mistaken, but it smells really good, so let's give this one a shot. Mmm. Mmm. I love the sweetness from, like, that Korean barbecue sauce on the beef. And then the onions add a nice depth to it, nice crunch, and that oniony flavor. Solid piece of pizza here. 
Nice burst of flavor on that. Oh, that was so good. I'm gonna wash it down with some Dr. Pepper and I love the labels on the Dr. Pepper here. It's so cool, so kind of like retro, has that like retro 50s kind of feel to it. Really, really cool. Mm. I love that they have Dr. Pepper over here. That's so awesome because I know typically outside of the US you find most people like don't really like the flavor of Dr. Pepper. They always tend to kind of say it tastes like medicine, which I don't know. I never had medicine that tastes like Dr. Pepper before, but ooh, it's delicious. So I'm glad they like it here in Japan. We've tried all four different sections of the pizza. So I'm curious, what do you think you would like the best? What would be your favorite? All right, if I'm gonna rank all four of them, I'd say my number one was the Koryo Galbi. That was so delicious. I loved the combination of that Korean barbecue flavor with the pizza. My number two would be the char grilled beef. I loved that charcoal taste on the beef. It tasted like something that you'd have at a cookout in the summer. And then uh, my number three would be the, the Giga Meat or Mega Meat or whatever. I can't remember what that one was called, but the one with all the different types of meat on it. And then number four would be the Teri Chiki. It was still tasty, but when you when I got that glob of mayonnaise, it was a little bit of a shock to the system. So that's why it's number four for me. But I'm super glad that I got that so I could try like four different types of uh, pizza that I wouldn't be able to find in the US. So with that, folks, that's gonna bring us to the end of the video. I sure hope you enjoyed yourself. I really enjoyed tasting it. If you did enjoy yourself, please make sure to hit that like button. Also make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification so as soon as new videos pop up, you're gonna be the first to find out about it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end and until next time, stay curious.